Texas A&M. Comes in at 9-3. and three. They won six consecutive games. Coriel Judy back deep has returned a pair of kickoffs for touchdowns for the Aggies this season. And a 75th AT&T Cotton Bowl Classic is underway as Judy takes it out. Calling out Judy across midfield. And he is finally forced out of bounds by higher up the backfield. Gray in the slot. Second down and nine. Everybody out for the Aggies. Tannehill with time. And the pass is caught at the... First and goal for Texas A&M from the LSU six. Tannehill, touchdown. Wachiku gives the Aggies the early lead. You come into a big game and you talk a rhythm. Randy Bullock connects on the extra point. So LSU elects to with a new set of downs from the 39-yard line. Jefferson looking left. He throws. And the catch is made by Ruben Randall. Stays on his feet and takes it out to the 48-yard line. Just shy. Ridley checks back in. Takes the toss from Jefferson. Running hard up the middle. Down to the Aggie 38. Stephen Ridley gained seven. I was innocent. I kept my head held high. Spencer Ware replaces Ridley. James Stampley in at fullback. Second down and three. This is Ware. He picks up the first down and more. Finally tackled at the 27-yard line by third down and seven for the LSU Tigers. Off the play fake. Jefferson fires downfield. And it is picked off by Judy. Coriel Judy with the 69-yard return of the opening kickoff. And now three of his Aggie teammates about 20 miles from Cowboy Stadium. Tannehill, a pump fake on first down. Now he takes off. Ryan Tannehill with a first down and more. Still on his feet and finally forced out of that wide receiver as well. Fifth all-time for the Aggies. That's right. Here's Tannehill to the outside, and the catch is made by Jeff Fuller, who's approaching the 1,000-yard mark for the season. No Aggie. On second and one, it's Gray, and Cyrus Gray picks up a first down down the sidelines, and finally tackled inside the... Texas Aggie football program turned around and headed in the right direction. He was an assistant under R.C. Slocum in College Station. First run of the game for Bradley Stevens, the junior out of McAllen, Texas. The city and the pace that your opponent is going to do. Third down and three off the hand of Fuller. Patrick Peterson on the coverage. Third in the nation. This is Randy Bullock. Up and away. 39-yard attempt. And Bullock's kick is straight through. The junior from Klein, Texas. So the Aggies have been sacks, led the nation last year. Return to the Aggies, and what a year it has been. Jefferson on third down, and the pass is caught for a first down by Ruben Randall. Takes it out to the 40. On second and 10, Jefferson pulls it down, takes off across midfield, has a first down. Out of bounds at the Texas A&M out to a 10-0 lead over LSU. Jefferson off the play fake, firing downfield for Tolliver. He's got a touchdown. 42 yards. Terrence Tolliver, the Tigers' leading receiver, the senior from Hempstead, Texas. Jasper, the extra point. Then Des Bryant in the return game, which is a bold statement. On first down, the toss to Cyrus Gray. 
Gray across the 40. Pushed out of bounds after picking an opening drive score in 12 games this year. Cannahill rolling to his left. And he finds his man, Slope. And Ryan Slope, thanks to the long kick return. From the 33, off the play fake. Catch is made by Fuller for another. Touchdown for 95 yards, but uh, it was a good shot. It sure was. we got a play going now. Tannehill firing downfield, intended for watch a cue. It was the, the record was good for 50 yards, I'm told. All right, probably the highest yards per carry in a ball game. Dickie Mago, the All-American. And how about this, Charles? Off the right upright, Randy Bullock. First and five following the penalty from the Aggies, 47. Spencer Ware spins for a first down, still on his feet. And he is finally brought down from behind. Jefferson out of the shotgun. Takes off. And Jordan Jefferson picks up the first down. He had Richard Murphy leading the way prior to the start of the game. Second down and nine. Play clock at four. Off the delay. Here's Ridley up the middle. And he is ruled down just shy of the goal line. Well, I have been in four LSU. Jefferson off the play fake to Ridley. Jefferson takes it in for a Tigers touchdown. Well, Steven Ridley had me. If I was playing linebacker, I would have been filling the A-gap. And this is, well, he's run for a score seven times. Jasper, I mean, you get to a situation late with a key play, and you don't have that challenge anymore. On second and seven, catch is made for a first down by Fuller. Part of that Mad Hatter mystique, I guess. Yes. A terrific matchup between a pair of juniors who may be playing on Sundays next season. Here's Fuller again. Picks up another Texas A&M first step corner, top of your screen. Second down and eight inside handoff, and Cyrus Gray has another. Aggies first down to the LSU. 27. From the LSU 27, the slant is caught for another first down. The toss to Gray looking to throw. He does. End zone. Touchdown. Watch a coup. Before the game, someone was to tell me that there's going to be a team that returns the opening kickoff, kickoff almost 70 yards to start the game, and then later in this, with a great play call, great execution. Wow. Cyrus defense, not to show too early what they want to do. Third down and four, and Spencer Ware picks up a first down and more. Ware takes it all the way to the Aggies. 45-yard line due to be a factor. Second down and eight. Jefferson complete to Tolliver. For an LSU first down inside the 20. Tackle at the 19. Second down and eight. Here's Ridley. Ridley inside the 10, the 5, touchdown, Stephen Ridley. To be a good running back, you've got to have vision. Was restored on Monday. He said, I'm excited. I'm motivated. And he has put the LSU Tigers back on top. For LSU, got younger with Therald Simon coming in, who is a true freshman. Eric Reed, the strong safety, number one, a true freshman as well. As Simon picks off Tannehill. We were just talking about Therald Simon, who was in for the injured Claiborne. Simon rolled down at the 40. Three for five on third down today. LSU must get to midfield. Jefferson fires. 
And Russell Shepard. Now to Simpsons on Fox. Tannehill, time on first down. It is picked off by Eric Reed. And Reed is tackled by Tannehill. So he goes 127 pass attempts without throwing a pick. And now he throws two in the matter. Third and goal for LSU from the three. Jefferson to the end zone. Tolliver, touchdown. But how much confidence does Gary... Jasper adds the extra point. LSU takes advantage. Aggies with three timeouts down to 40 seconds. Tannehill's pass off the hands of Jackson this time. So the clock stops with second down and nine. Jefferson out of the shotgun. Four receivers set. Jefferson in trouble. Von Miller takes him down back at the 24-yard line. Here's back into a third down and 19. They must get to the 43 for a first. Jefferson steps up, using his legs once again, and he has a first down. Jordan Jefferson takes it into defense. LSU with over 200 yards on the ground today. We are early third quarter. Jefferson going deep for Tolliver. He's got it. Touchdown. His third of the game. Into the hands of Terrence Tolliver, who had only two touchdowns all season coming into this game. Jasper, the extra point. Getting away from it, and I don't know if you want to run to the perimeter against LSU. I'd rather them attack them through the tackles like they did early in the first half. Tannehill to the outside, and a nice kickoff, 69 yards, but LSU receives to start the second half, and they score on the opening drive to extend their lead. Here's Gray. Cyrus Gray looking for that seventh consecutive. Changing the culture, which is such a difficult thing to do, even in an offseason when you come in as a new head coach. But they do it within season, amazing. Tannehill with the shovel pass, and Gray has a first down inside the 30. They must get to the 19 for a first down. Tannehill in trouble. Down he goes. Ryan Baker. Drive it over and you're like, uh oh, I just made a mistake. Third down and seven, and a diving catch. A tremendous catch is made. I told Stephen Ridley on Monday, I'm so excited that you're back. The unselfish nature of these backs, and here's Ware once again. Ridley's happy that Spencer Ware is in there as well. Takes it to the 29. They remain positive with one another. Lee has started nine games during his Tigers career, and this is Spencer Ware. He takes it down to the 22-yard line. And what is Jeff Hards out? Time winding down in this third quarter. Jasper's kick is up, and it is no good. Wide to the right. They kicked a field goal on their next drive to take a 10-0 lead. But it has been all LSU since then as Tannehill picks up the first down. Out to the 49-yard line. Game of from the 49-yard line. Tannehill complete to Fuller. Both teams very young. Third down and 12. Tannehill fires downfield looking for Fuller. Out of bounds. Both of them could be in a position to have great years next year. Ken Wood punting. And it will be down. Inside the five-yard line. Thing is, in, in, in college football, it's not reviewable. Have illegal participation on LSU. They had 12 players on the kicking team. It was a 15-yard penalty. Assessed the previous punt will be a first down for AM. Sherman leaves his offense on the field, trailing by 18. Tannehill's pass is complete for a first down. So Texas A&M goes for it on fourth and one. M. Third and goal from the four. Tannehill 
the fade corner of the end zone and coming down with it for the touchdown is Kenrick McNeil. Remember, he has to get only one foot in, and McNeil of the season after the Aggies maintain possession. Follow three touchdown passes, 67 yards, and a touchdown for Jefferson on the ground. Stephen Ridley into Aggies territory. Third down and eight. Jefferson out of the shotgun. Jefferson over the middle, complete to Tolliver for an LSU first down. Terrence Tolliver. Third down and 10. Tigers must get to the 27. The option to Spencer Ware, who's had a terrific night. Bounces away from the first tackle and then is dropped at the 33 yard line by Dustin Harris. They elect to attempt the field goal. It's a 51 yard attempt, and Jasper nails it. It's the longest field goal in Cotton Bowl history. Hey, home, rebuilt the house, then transferred over to LSU, was away from football for three years. Tremendous story, tremendous young man. Amazing. Did not play football for three years. And Tyron Matthew, you can talk about him all day, Daryl. He comes up with the pick. The third of Tannehill today. Uh, he is had an absolutely fantastic. Oklahoma State scored 38 points against the Aggies. Jefferson throws it out the back of the end zone. He was under pressure from Sean Porter, so atop the charts. What are the last names of the replay officials? <laughs> Ganter Huerta? Well, Jasper connects this time from 26. <laughs> He also invited a couple of Aggie fans he befriended during his club's visit to a local hospital. Earlier this week, here's Tyron Matthew after the big hit, and he takes it in for a defensive touchdown, and then a late flag is thrown. The reception by Hudson Prelo. The ball came loose on the hit, and it's returned into the end zone by Matthew. Well, he could be something special by the time. Exceptions. foul. Unnecessary roughness. 22 on the defense. Penalty is 15 yards from the spot of the foul. We first down LSU. There's no score. And we also acknowledge the late Lindsey Nelson, who wore 26 cotton ball. Telecasts and or radio broadcasts. B for LSU all season long, and for one reason or another, it didn't come together for him tonight, but at the Cotton Bowl this evening, the AT&T Cotton Bowl tonight, that LSU passing game reached the level that they've all been waiting for. Jarrett Lee in the game to take a knee. He played a large part in the success. So the LSU Tigers with a 41-24 victory here in Arlington, Texas.